This week, Pulse takes you to the Bronx. While the borough isn't known for its natural settings, it is home to the Bronx Zoo, which has 265 wooded acres. With over a half million visitors a year, there's a definite demand for a place to relieve oneself. Well, the zoo takes this basic human need and turns it into an education in water conservation, the Eco Restroom. We saw this as an opportunity to really share um, conservation in a way where it's really happening. Getting people to actually think about water and why it's important was something we really wanted to tackle. And we were curious on whether people really would make sense of that. In a normal toilet, once you flush your toilet, all the water goes into the sewer systems and ends up at a treatment plant where it has to get processed. That takes a lot of energy. This is a self-contained system, so it's using less energy. And in, in addition, it's using less water. Did you know that Americans flush 100 million pounds of solid waste with 32 billion gallons of water every day? That's a lot of water. Less than 3% of the planet's water is fresh water, so it may just be time to cut the crap and consider composting it. This is the women's room. So we wanted to sort of sum up what the message of this place was really quickly. It's environmentally friendly, it uses less energy, and it uses less water. And that's the big message. And if you walk into a stall, there's information while you go to the bathroom. That is actually what we use instead of water. By using this, we're saving a ton of water. And your poop and your pee goes down with the foam, and it gets carried down a long tube into a compartment that's down below. And down there is a hole is where all the composting ends up. And there's a starter material down there that has small red worms. It has uh, fungi and bacteria, and it's kept at a nice, moist, warm degree. And um, so all this stuff sort of processes, and over time, um, actually become something that's close to topsoil. And then we just tried to give you in every stall a different poop fun fact so that you'd learn a little bit about poop. The water goes down the sink, goes through this pipe, and then travels underneath and out to the gray water gardens outside. Gray water is what they refer to as water that's just been used for um, washing your hands. Brown water is the sewage water. That does not end up in the gardens. <laughs> so right now we're in the gray water garden, and the gray water garden actually has a series of pipes underneath it. It's sort of a grid of pipes that sort of run like this that have little holes in them. So when the water from the sinks comes down, it sort of filters, seeps into the garden through that. The big question our visitors had about this is, well, what about all the stuff you're washing your hands with, like the soap? What we're using is a biocompatible soap, like a biodegradable soap. And that is actually not harmful for the plants. And again, that natural filtration system uh, allows this water to go to use and be used again. Recycling water. It's a concept our visitors didn't know much about, I didn't know much about. And that piece over there in particular, the one with the beads that you move, we tried to put in an area where people could sort of after their bathroom experience go and talk and, and discuss their experience in the bathroom. Little boys came out and one said, this is the best bathroom ever. I wonder what the girls' bathroom was like. And the other kid said, oh, it can't be as good as the boys' bathroom. We thought the bathroom was excellent. My son came out, he loved it. He thought the toilets were fun with the foam and the superpower hand dryers and the notes all over the walls, all about water and how to conserve. And it was really wonderful to learn all about the environment. You may have heard of the saying, waste not, want not. Well, while it's unlikely that humans will ever stop producing waste, we should all want to find a better way to dispose of it. For more information on water conservation and other green issues, head to riverwire.com.